Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Monday, the 7th day of August, 2023. It's a brand new week, a brand new day. My prayer for you today is that the unleashing of God's presence will go with you this week in the name of Jesus. Um, our topic today on the seeds of destiny is faith in the Lord who owns all things, or faith in the God who owns all things. The Bible says, but without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. God for the day, faith and supernatural supplies go together. Some years ago, while the glory dome was being built, God's servant stood on the first gallery one of the days watching the ongoing construction. He saw the massive volumes of concrete being mixed on the ground, the machines walking everywhere, and hundreds of people engaged in diverse activities around different areas of the construction. As he looked around, he thought within himself, who can build a thing like this if it is not God? The money being spent monthly on the construction was in hundreds of millions. While in this deep thought on the greatness of God, God gave him a song. You own the universe. You own the silver and gold. The earth and all its fullness, it all belongs to you. There's nothing you don't have. There's nothing you can keep, Lord. The hope of all believing, the source of everything. You see, you must have a solid faith in God who owns the universe, who owns the silver and the gold, the earth and all its fullness, to dare certain things in life. Psalm 24 verse 1 to 2 and Haggai 2 8. Beloved, it is possible to raise the dead and still die in po poverty because there are dimensions of faith. The faith you deploy for healing is different from the faith you deploy for supernatural supplies. Abraham, the father of supernatural supplies, is also called the father of faith. Faith and supernatural supplies go together. That is why those who teach faith in our generation also teach prosperity. Faith existence and uh, faith is existence with mentality that you cannot beg on the behalf of God who sent you. So our counsel to you today is find out from the word of God the things that need to be done for supernatural supplies to come. You need that ruggedness of faith that is developed with the word of God in order to guarantee a steady flow of supplies. Remember this, faith and supernatural supplies go together. What's our assignment today? Number one, ask God to shift your faith from the present dimension to a higher one. Number two, develop your faith by putting the word of God to work. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say after me, Lord, I ask for a shift in the dimensions of my faith. Show me higher dimensions of your possibilities. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name, praise God. I'm excited. I believe that the Lord's help will be made available to us and we will begin to see and experience higher dimensions of supplies and provisions from God in the name of Jesus Christ. I'd like to pray for you today. You want to receive Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. You want to be born again. Simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I am a sinner. I need your help. Please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Forgive me all my sins and make me a new person in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. I believe you prayed that and you meant it. I pray for you that the Lord will help you to live a life that pleases Him and that you will endure and persist in your followership of Jesus in Jesus' name. And praise the Lord, it's somebody's birthday today and that person is you. Happy birthday to you. As your days are, so shall your strength be. God cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. Help from above. Grace be released upon you in Jesus' name.
God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Peace.